Welcome to the first of many Doctor Who mini reviews. Today's review we are taking a close look at the 25th anniversary set that Daypol released way back in 1987. This set was to celebrate 25 years of Doctor Who. So this colossal set includes the seventh Doctor played by Sylvester McCoy, Melanie Bush played by Bonnie Langford, K9, a TARDIS console and some backing walls as well so you can even pose your figures as if they're in the TARDIS itself. So now you know what's included, let's take a closer look. So the first figure we're going to have a look at is the Seventh Doctor. As you can see here, the Seventh Doctor is dressed in his cream jacket. There was also a variation of this figure, which came in the later brown jacket. It also comes with an accessory in the shape of an umbrella. And although not to scale, it was quite a nice accessory to have. And there were many various different colours of umbrella. I can think of at least 10 different colours that they released. But for this particular one here, we have the gold one. Now this figure does have articulation in all the expected parts that you would find articulation in an action figure. The likeness to the 7th Doctor here is actually captured quite well, considering this was made in 1989. So the next figure as you can see here is Melanie Bush. Now Mel came in two different styles, she came in the blue top one which is the one we have here or the pink top one. My personal opinion on this particular figure is I absolutely despise it only because it never ever stands up. You always have to either stick blue tack underneath or like I've done in this video have her resting on something so she doesn't fall over. Other than that I suppose it's not too bad. And here we have K9. K9 originally came as a green variant until Daybolt quickly realised their mistake and re-released it as the correct colour, grey. K9 does feature pullback motion, so if you just pull him back, he will shoot forward quite quickly. His tail wags and he seems to be quite a happy chappy. And then we have the TARDIS walls themselves. As you can see here, we have three individual pieces. Now, not only does this make for a lovely backdrop display, if you manage to buy multiple of these sets like I did, you would be able to display quite a large console room. Another great feature about this particular set is the walls actually still make up the original TARDIS, and I will show you that now. We have the TARDIS when it's made up. Of course, the TARDIS did include the rooftop there with a flashing light and also the base. Now, there was one extra piece that came with this set, which you've already seen, and this is the backdrop wall here. You can't use this, unfortunately, to make the TARDIS any bigger on the outside, but of course, you can make it look bigger on the inside. Finally, we move on to the TARDIS console itself. Now, this was absolutely fantastic, and in my opinion, in 2019, it's been 30 years, it's still fantastic. Now it takes four AA batteries. Now once the batteries are inserted, it lights up and the time rotor in the middle goes up and down and flashes different colors. It also makes a whirring sound. Now as you can see, the detailing on this TARDIS console is actually pretty good and I've always been thoroughly impressed with it. It makes for a fantastic toy and certainly does also make for a fantastic display piece as well. Now let's take a look and see the TARDIS console in action. Once you've inserted all four AA batteries, all you need to do is flick the little black switch. Let's take a look. So there you go, as you can see the time rotor is slightly stuck and it doesn't go up as far as it should do, but it does seem to flash every now and again, so it really does make for quite an amazing piece of Doctor Who merchandise. So there we go, I hope you've learned something and found this review useful. I will see you all again in another review very soon. Goodbye for now.